Okay, so this is a video on the advanced block and strum method of playing the Anglo-Saxon lyre. So, if you're watching this video, hopefully you've already mastered regular block and strum. <laughs> Basically, block the notes you don't want to hear, let the notes you do want to hear ring, and strum. Um, if you haven't mastered that already, uh, here's a couple of links to videos, and um, you can check those out. Those uh, people like Corin Broch and Michael J. King have covered this in great detail. Uh, they're really great videos, you should check them out. Um, and master that first. Once you've done that, then you can go on to the advanced block and strum, which gives you a little bit more versatility, a little bit more dexterity in uh, playing melodies. Uh, this technique comes to me from uh, a couple friends from Lithuania who play a very similar instrument called the conkles. Um, similar, very, very similar to the Finnish kantele. Um, I've got one here. I made it as a present for my wife. Uh, this is the conkles, and it's played with a block and strum method similar to uh, the lyre, except it's sort of down on your lap and you put one hand here and you strum like that. Um, so you can see it's from a similar part of the world, you know, it's close to Scandinavia um, and it's got a similar style of playing, um, but they've got a special little something and just to demonstrate it first I'm going to play you a tune on one of my lyres that uses the advanced block and strum, then I'll break it down on a tune that can be played on a six string lyre, because I'm a weird guy and have a seven string lyre. Um, so here's a little tune with the advanced block and strum method. You can see if you can pick it out what's going on, and then I'll break it down for you. So if you haven't figured out what's going on already, between my strums, I'm plucking with the left hand. So between beats. You can also notice I'm picking individual strings to strum instead of str strum strumming the whole thing the entire time. I just give it a little melodic variation. So I'm gonna play a tune um, and break it down on my other lyre uh, that can be played with a six string lyre because I realize most lyre players out there are playing with six string lyres. I'm the weird guy with the seven string lyre, um, mainly because I wanted to. Um, so if you're watching here, you can pretty much ignore my pinky because that's just sitting here on the seventh, seventh string to make it not sound. Um, this is pretty much done with these three fingers, the thumb, the index finger, and my ring finger. You could do it with other fingers. That's just sort of what uh, has been suiting me best of late. Um, also, you're going to have to reverse this if you're 
if you're if you're stringing from with the high away from you. Um, this one is strung um, with following Corin Brock's example, like a harp, so that the high, highest strings are closer to the body and the lowest strings are further away. Um, I mainly did that because I kind of want to play the Celtic harp at some point, and so that allows me to sort of practice that mentality a little bit, rather than thinking of it like a guitar. Very slowly the tune goes like this. As you can see, between individual strum beats, So that is the advanced block and strum playing technique for the lyre, coming to lyre playing from the Conclays by Lithuania, and I hope you have fun with it and get inventive. So post some videos of whatever tunes that you uh, that you come up with with this new method, and you can post them in response to this video. And one more thing you should check out: my friend Gemina has an amazing Vimeo channel. Uh, where she plays the conclays, in incredible music. Uh, it's all stuff that she's written. Uh, she's a Lithuanian conclays player. And so I'm gonna put a link up here, which you can check out my favorite one of her videos. Um, so yeah.